Ty Domes presents The Hidden History of the Geodesic Dome A study of how new ideas are formed Part 1 The Lost Design of the Geodesic Dome Geodesic domes have been used as houses, radar domes, training habitats for building a Mars colony, greenhouses, and even as movable chicken coops. And most people today think that the geodesic dome was invented by Buckminster Fuller. Yet, the very first geodesic dome was built and patented by Walter Bayersfield in 1924 in Jena, Germany, to be used as a planetarium for the Carl Zeiss Company. The geodesic dome was rediscovered 24 years later by Bucky Fuller in 1948 at Black Mountain College in North Carolina. And it was Fuller and no one else that made the geodesic dome a popular idea. So how did each man create the idea of a geodesic dome? Did Bucky Fuller create the geodesic dome independently of Walter Bayersfeld? Or did he benefit all of us by rediscovering Bayersfeld's lost design? Was the Bayersfeld dome lost and forgotten and resurrected by Fuller in a new form to solve a new problem? To find a new idea, it is a noble thing to evaluate all of the old ideas. Sir Isaac Newton recognized this when he said, If I have seen further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. If Fuller knew of the lost geodesic dome design used by Walter Bayersfeld in 1924, he did us a great service by bringing the geodesic dome back to life. For just as important as the original inventor who discovers the first seed of an idea, is the later inventor that rediscovers and preserves this seed and replants the seed in the minds of men. Bayersfield Geodesic Dome was nearly forgotten until rediscovered and reborn by Fuller. And so Bucky Fuller is the real hero of the invention of the Geodesic Dome, for Fuller created the name Geodesic as a description of the dome and with his tireless energy made the Geodesic Dome both popular and useful. But how did Bucky Fuller reinvent the dome of Walter Bayersfield at Black Mountain College? Was the geodesic dome invented by Walter Bayersfield in 1924, also independently reinvented by Bucky Fuller a second time in 1948 at Black Mountain College? Did both men miraculously have the exact same idea? Or did Fuller somehow learn of the forgotten design of the Bayersfield geodesic dome so that Fuller could resurrect and improve Bayersfield's design to make it popular today. Was there a person that could have been the link between Walter Bayersfield and Bucky Fuller? Could there have been a very famous German architect at Black Mountain College in 1948 that had actually seen the Bayersfield Geodesic Dome in Jena, Germany in 1924 and communicated some part of Bayersfield's dome design to Bucky Fuller? Was this famous German architect someone who had spent a lifetime developing low-cost and efficient shelter, just as Fuller was attempting to do with geodesic domes, and possibly saw an opportunity to assist Fuller in his work? Yes, there was exactly such a man at Black Mountain College in 1948. And his name is Walter Gropius, the founder of the famous Bauhaus School of Modern Architecture. But we will let you look at all the facts and you can decide what may have actually happened. In the following videos, we will look at the lives of Walter Bayersfeld, Walter Gropius, Bucky Fuller, and the reinvention of the geodesic dome at Black Mountain College. The study of the lives of these men is interesting not only for the stories they contain, but it gives us insight into how their personalities work together to resurrect an old idea for building efficient and low-cost shelter. The lives of Walter Bayersfield, Walter Gropius, and Bucky Fuller are well known. But the connection between Gropius and Fuller in the rediscovery of the geodesic dome at Black Mountain College is completely hidden without any written records 
and the evidence is entirely circumstantial. And so this hidden connection is something that you will have to analyze for yourself. But we shall see that if we consider Walter Gropius to be the connection between Fuller and Bayersfield, then many of the questions of how the geodesic dome was rediscovered at Black Mountain College will be answered. So to understand this link, let's look at part two in this video series, which is a study of the genius of Walter Bayersfield. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.